Hello, me hearties. A very good evening to you. It is me, Scotty McClure, and we're live on Facebook Live. That's the big one. Lovely to have you with us. And, of course, this is our Easter special. So lots of great chats. I hope everybody will join me tonight so that we have the most fabulous live stream of all the wonderful live streams that we've had. For those of you who are not up to date, of course, I've been appearing at 10 o'clock sharp in the mornings. And we're wondering about changing that to 11 o'clock sharp in the mornings. So there we are. Wonderful Kenny Hyde's watching, Dinkadoo, Barbara Ann Haig, Kareem Zachariah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All these wonderful people with us for one hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment for not just one nation, for all the nations that are assembled here on this wonderful platform, Facebook Live. So there you are. Welcome, 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 I say. And let's get the sharing sorted. Now, tonight, I thought we could also have a bit of Skype for those of you who are trusted. So we might get you Skyping in and we can talk to you live. If you're wanting to Skype and you feel you're on the trusted list, then it would be scotty.mcclue. Scotty Dot McClue. Excellent stuff. And of course, make sure you tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Gene Smith. Hi, Scotty. Hope you're well. Hi, Gene. Lovely to hear from you. And of course, very well. Delighted to be popping up and saying hi to all of you. I'll see if we bring you over a little bit more light. There we go. Excellent stuff. Happy Easter, says the wonderful Barbara Ann Haig, and good health to you and all your family. The same to you, Barbara, my darling. All the very, very best to you. Um, Shane Yule, Shane S. Yule, is shouting on Gina Smith to come and join us. Here we have the homemade lemon squash. Mmm. Oh, that is absolutely lush. I can highly recommend it. Uh, hi, Scotty McCoo, says uh, Karim. Thoughts and prayers to the Duffy family. My friend took his life. The community of Newton Mearns will be in pain tonight. Oh, Karim, I am so sorry to hear that. Yes, but thank you for letting me know. And of course, absolutely, I am so sorry that you have had that experience. So there we are. Uh, that's Kareem just letting us know about somebody who has passed away. <coughs> Don't be fooled by the cough. Had it for 20 years, of course. But uh, do feel free to distance yourself just a little bit back there, a couple of meters, and you'll be absolutely fine. I promise you. Welcome, welcome. Sad RIP, says John. Absolutely, John. Yes, indeed. And uh, we send condolences out to the family. So sorry to hear that. And strength to them right now and in the days to come. So sorry for your loss, Kareem, says Jean. Thank you, Jean. Very, very important. Very much appreciated. And of course, there have been so many tragic things have happened over the recent days. I lost a dear friend, just heard the news this morning to the COVID. So there we are. So to everybody who's having a tough time and to everybody who's suffering, I send you love, I send you joy, and I send you peace. Rab Hill's watching. Thank you, Rab. Welcome. Lovely to have you with us. And uh, I'm going to go off to the sharing right away because I'm slightly anxious. I get distracted by you guys and we forget to share. And we must not do this. So there we go. So everybody has to be sharing. Click, 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 click all the time. Otherwise, there's not much point in me popping up if you're not letting everybody know that we're here. Very, very important. <clears throat> and of course, to all of you, um, can I send Easter greetings? A wonderful time of year. Robert Rovers is watching. I'm so sorry we can't all get out and about. Carl Carlos Donnelly. All right, Scotty, says the wonderful Rab Hill. We're all right, Rab. Good to hear from you. And Dinky Do. Now, there we are. So I'll just share right away to our big sharing bit, if that's uh, okay with you. I'll share to the big Scotty McClue page. And I think about 6,000 of you have joined on there. There's Wadge. Stay home, stay safe, says Wadge. 
Uh, Happy Easter, Scotty, says John Jones. Thank you, John. Dinky Doo, says Wadge. Wonderful, wonderful news. Joey Blower, welcome. David Diston, welcome. And uh, John Jones is watching. Excellent stuff. Lovely to have you all with us. Do come and join us and spread the word. I'm just going to share right from the off, guys, and let us know. Um, share to our page. So I'll share to the big Scotty McClue page, where there's nearly 6,000 of you. Uh, Chris Beatty and Ian Kerr, a big welcome to you. Lovely to have you with us as well, of course. And uh, do tell me what you're up to, guys. This is very important. It's great to come on and say you're watching, but i like to know what you're up to, how you're doing, how you're coping, how you're dealing with everything. And then we can all compare notes, which is always good. Live now. Join us. And uh, there we go. So I'm just going to send that out to the big Scotty McClue page. I'll share to the story as well. If you can all do that, that would be great. Stephen Mooney is watching. Happy Easter, Scotty and Dinky Doo, says the wonderful Susan Forrest in Lancashire. Steve Burrows, good evening, sir. Good evening to you, sir. Lovely to have you with us. I can remember a friend of mine telling me a story. He had an old aunt in uh, Newcastle, and uh, she would go to watch the man on the television. It was Time T's television. Royston Mayo, Dinky Doo, right on cue. And it was Time T's television. And um, she was sitting there with this guy. He was a nephew. It was auntie. And uh, he was a nephew. And uh, he, um, otherwise it wouldn't have been auntie, you know. And uh, she went and she brushed up the fire. And then she went and she put on a, a new pink cardigan on a different cardigan, and she brushed her hair, Nikki Harvey winning high, and she sat down and put on Time T's television in the early days. And on came the, uh, it would either be the newscaster or the continuity announcer, and he said, good evening. And she said, and a good evening to you, sir. And she was convinced, if she could see the guy on the telly, that the guy on the telly could see her. Very, very amazing. Early days of ITV, and Auntie lived over at, I think it was Hexham or something like that, and they were watching Time Tease television. Uh, David Turner, Dinky do lovely to have you with us, and a very warm welcome. Scotty, with all respect, I'm not going to listen tonight. I always like to interact, but I feel I can't tonight. I'm going to relax and remember the good times. I'll listen tomorrow. Have a good night and a happy Easter and a kiss from Kareem. Kareem, we send you joy. We send you love at this most difficult time as well, of course. And we send you every sympathy, deep condolences about your friend and to the family. And we quite understand. I'm so glad you joined us, though. And uh, we will catch up. When you're ready. Bless you, Kareem, you top man. So there we go. Uh, Scotty, what's the point of having the weather on the telly? You can't even get out the door, says Rab. Rab, we wonder what the point in the weather actually is, because I'll tell you, a guy was telling me recently um, about being up the Highlands, um, Middergyle, and they were thinking of going out in a boat, and he said, I, I wouldn't go out the night. There's some quite bad weather coming. And they said, oh, have you checked? Have you checked with the BBC? Have you, have you got the weather forecast? He goes, what are you on about BBC and weather forecast? The cows have been coming off the hill for an hour and the sheep are turning their backsides to the wind. See, have we forgotten how to tell the weather ourselves? Andrew Wishmaster Williams, welcome, welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. You're quite right, Rab. You know, I mean, what are the weather people going to say? We suggest you stay in. The weather's not great. I uh, hope you've had a good Easter, my friend. Keep up the good work, Scotty boy. Kevin Moore, I thank you. Lovely to have you with us, of course. How's everybody getting on? How are you coping? Uh, exchange of information here, please, by the way. That's what it's all about. Hello, Scotty says Thomas Hamilton. Hello, Thomas. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo. Joe McKee is watching. The wonderful David Lafferty is watching. Hello, David. Dan Leslie has joined us as well. What a great crew tonight. I'm going to keep sharing, guys. I'm not going to give up on this. 
because uh, it's too good to miss. I was talking to somebody recently and they said, Scotty, your pop-ups need to go to a much wider audience. A few thousand, a few hundred, nah, they should be out there in the millions and billions. So there we are. So it's up to you guys. Let's get this going and then we'll see if we can get one of the big networks to take it up. <clears throat> very, very important. I'll just share again in public. So that's gone. And then I'm going to share to my story. Uh, share, says Thomas Hamilton. Thank you, Thomas. Appreciate it. John Crossland. Hello, Scotty. Love your shows. We need you back on the radio. I think Scotty McClure should be on national radio right now. So there we are. Discussing with everybody the phone in discussing what's going on. We do have the trusty Skype here, though. Uh, Kelvin Allen has joined us. Dinky do Kelvin, lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Guys, I'm just going to share to the, uh, <coughs> to the story. Share to your story. And it says it goes public. Oh, the public. So there we are. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Um, because I think, I mean, it depends how big an audience we can get on the social media platforms, but I think this should be going out to millions. Hi, Scotty McClure. Time uh, you on to? I'm uh, on till about nine o'clock. So you're very welcome. Happy Easter to yourself. And Mrs. McClure, says David Lafferty, have a great show. And he sends me a piano. Are you a big pianist? David. Uh, thank you, sir, says Apwa Ida. Apwa Ida, lovely to have you with us. Where are you watching from? Colin Pinchbeck, happy Easter and dinky do, Scotty. Colin, great to hear from you. Always a pleasure. Never a chore, as they say. I'm just going to do a bit more sharing. Did I share to my story? Share to your story. Public, did we do that? Has it done it? Uh, and then I'll share to another page and just let everybody know what is what. Let everybody know what is what. Wonderful stuff. Uh, Scotty, a job on Fourth Valley Radio is waiting for you. Steve Mack, thank you. That is very, very kind of you. I'm a bit maxed at the moment, and of course, I can't get out the hoose. Um, there we are. John Crossland, dinky do. Hello, sir. Am I still in time, says Barry. Barry, you are absolutely in time. No problem at all. So there you are. You're always in time for Scotty McClure, I say. Never a problem. Great to have you with us. And that's what it's all about. So there we go. Um, Elspeth McLaughlin's joined us. Fantastic. Never mind the radio. Get on the telly, says Rab. Rab, I've said it a million times. Friday night, 11.30 to midnight, Scotty McClure, commercial television. Take the calls live. Sort them out. Tell it like it is. Late night telly, no holes barred. Go for it. Put it across the whole of the commercial network. Massive. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk to Satellite television, right, and see what we can be doing there. Lovely to have you with us, Elspeth McLaughlin, dinky do, because Scotty McClure, I've probably only got, uh, you know, if I survive another 20 years of work in me, so these television networks need to get their skates on. There we are, we shouldn't be missing a second of it. Uh, Derek McGonigal, dinky do, hello Mr McClure, my good man, hello Sean Chalmers, Lovely to have you with us. Kelvin Malcolm McGregor, welcome, welcome, welcome. Stu Brody says, hi, Scotty from Las Vegas. So Stu is in Las Vegas. Stu, do you live there or are you um, self-isolating or are you stuck? Or what is the score with Las Vegas? I love the fact that you're sitting watching the show in Las Vegas. That is just brilliant, brilliant news. This is what we like. Um, what am I saying? Global television and radio producer. Uh, live now, join us. Live now, join us. There we are. As I say, uh, we'll get going and we'll get somebody to do all this production work. 
and then I can get on with just giving you my undivided attention, which I do anyway, I think you'll agree. Stephen Menzies, a wonderful Stephen Menzies is watching. Stephen Menzies, I can't thank you enough for the picture of the Stanley steamer. I thought that was absolutely fantastic. Bravissimo to the Stanley steamer. And she was even steaming at the front. Incredible. Uh, David Turner, Scotty, quick question maybe you could answer. As a kid, I remember my mother listening to Max AM. Whatever happened to that station? Now, I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure, David, that Max AM was a name for the medium wave of Radio Forth at the time when the stations split and it uh, became Forth 2. And I know it became Forth 2 because I was on it for years. Fabulous station. So there we are. Apwa, lovely, lovely to hear from you. Excellent stuff. So there we go. David Lafferty, how are we? Just shared with Billy Porter in Tenerife. How fantastic. You top man. I thank you. Let them all know. Jim Scully and I, Scotty, from what was a sunny Paisley. It's always sunny in Paisley. I worked in Paisley for years. So there we are. Twice. Everyone I work, I seem to work twice in my life. So there you are. Fantastic. Uh, I go back to uh, once to uh, set myself up, second time to apologize. Uh, greetings from Killy Scotty. Lockdown is that little bit more bearable now that you're here. Kevin Malcolm McGregor, what a lovely, lovely thing to say. Love to Killy. Love to Kilmarnock. Uh, Stu Brody, yes, I live in Vegas. I'm at work. You top man, how wonderful. Do you do something uh, very, very, very exciting. So there you are. Uh, Alistair King is watching. Sean Thomas. May I get a shout out for my uncle who's watching in Canada but can't type due to being an amputee. His name is Billy. Thank you. Sean, not at all. An absolute privilege. Good evening, Scotty. Happy Easter. Alistair King. Welcome, welcome, our top engineer. Nikki Graham's watching. Hi, Nikki. Lovely to have you with us. Casinos and lots of business closed here. But uh, for the most part, not a whole lot of change. So uh, not a whole lot of change. Do you get it, Stu? Did you mean to do that one? The casinos are closed, so there's not a whole lot of change. See what I just did there? Oh, fantastic. Thank you, Scotty. Happy Easter. Cheer the family. Thank you, Scotty. Top man. None at all, David. Sad news about Sterling Moss today. What a man he was. Darren Meekin, he certainly was. Wonderful fella. Thank you so much, says Sean. No problem, Sean. You're very, very welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Good evening, Scotty. Glad you enjoyed the photograph of Stephen Menzies. It was outstanding. Who can come up with a photograph of a Stanley Steamer? I, happy Easter. Regards Tony Ingledow. Oh, yes. Yes. Happy Easter to you. Regards, Tony. So there we are. Uh, hi, Scotty. Happy Easter. Regards, Tony. You scrub up well in your suit, Scotty. Said Nikki. Oh, Nikki, thank you. There we are. If I was 10 stone lighter and 20 years younger, we'd be dancing. Fantastic. Now, welcome, welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you all with us. If you've just joined us and you're wondering what on earth you're actually watching, it's Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, and the world's most humble man. Here we are for an hour of superb, scintillating information, education, and entertainment. I need you all to share right now as much as you can. I want to get the numbers up. We've done, since we started doing the pop-ups, we've done over 2 million people have seen them. Do you see how the old accumulator works? So we've only got a handful watching right now. That'll go up during the week. Wonderful. And of course, I pop up at 10 o'clock in the morning. Should I make it 11? Shall we pop up at 11 in the mornings? I ask you. How's everybody getting on? Do you think the government are doing a first class job uh, in looking after us all and keeping us safe? Let us know what you're thinking about everything. 
Everybody has thoughts. Everybody wants to talk. Everybody wants to say things. Um, what have I got here? I'm going to share to a group. Fantastic. So we're just about to share to a group. Ned McMillan's watching. You're very welcome, Ned. Dinky do. And uh, this is going out to the groups now so they can see that we are live now. Come and join us live now. Come and join us. And guys, can I ask that you look at all the past shows? There's a whole tremendous amount of them. 700 videos on the YouTube channel. Go and subscribe on there. Very important. Subscribe. We've only got a couple of thousand subscribers so far. And Nicky Graham says, social media is great to share your wonderful videos and see your wee cheery face, Scotty. Thank you, Nicky. I'm glad you like my wee cheery face. Uh, did an Easter egg hunt round the house and garden with Junior? So there we are. He did excellent. Excellent. I see what you just did there, Alistair King. Very good. Michael Yule's watching. You're very welcome, Michael. Uh, lovely, lovely, lovely to have you with us. And um, I shared Mass from the Vatican last night with His Holiness the Pope. I hope you all enjoyed that. And a wonderful Mass that came from um, St. Augustine's in Court Bridge. Do you know it? So that was today on... Uh, BBC One, I think, if I remember. Yes. And I've shared all that with you. And uh, I've tweeted the uh, priest at St. Augustine's, Father Kane, to say how much we all enjoyed it. Wonderful stuff. God bless the NHS. Care workers, I just hope the government do what's right when this is all over. Rab, what do you think is right that the government should be doing? We need to expand on these things. Tell us what you think. Live now, come and join us. Uh, who am I sharing this with? Let me see. <laughs> a group. We're sharing it with a group. One of all, we'll share it with the Scotty McClure fans group just now and get them started. Wonderful. Let everybody know, because there's about 3,000 of you just sitting there on that one. There we are. I would like to see this opened up to all of Facebook. Get a couple of billion viewers. That's what we're needing. Get all the different chats from everybody. So there we are. That's gone out to the fan group. So that should be quite good. So whatever groups you've got, guys, your gaming friends, go and get sharing with them. Now, what have we got here? Um, Carl McCusker's watching Robert Lang. Welcome, welcome. I think the government are doing a good job under the circumstances, says Susan. Right? Kevin says, I'm an NHS worker, but can I ask that you give a shout out to the posties? They don't have appropriate PPE and they're having their rights threatened by their CEO support. Your local postal worker. I do. I have a good shout to the post in the morning across the road. And he keeps fit. And I thank him for everything he's doing for us. Uh, Robert Lang says, a dinky-doo from Ella and her granda. Wonderful stuff. We love that, Robert. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great to have you all with us. I can see this here. I'll give you a wee love. There we go. And I'll give a wee love to Kevin as well. There we go. And to Susan. There we go. And I'll get round to you all, guys. Sometimes I have to do all the loves for all your wonderful comments. Very much appreciated. And I do it after the show. So that's what can happen. Now, I don't know if you saw on social media, uh, the police had called at a house to tell a gentleman not to uh, go out in his garden. And there seemed to be some sort of dubiety about this advice. But I felt the guy was a little bit cheeky to the police. And the police are only doing their job. They're trying to save your life and my life. So I don't think we should cheek up to the police. I think we need to stop any ideas of that. In my day, when I was young, you would never, ever, ever have even dreamt of checking up to a policeman. So there we are. And uh, what came first, Scotty, the chicken or the egg or the bunny? <laughs> Absolutely, Alistair. There's the wonderful Diamond Scotty McVicker watching in Canada. 
Damn it, do you agree with me that uh, when we were kids, we would have never dreamt of cheeking up to a policeman? So there you are. Very, very important. You know, our wonderful policemen, Big Archie, Big John, Hector, all these fabulous people, Uncle Colin, you know, you just wouldn't have done it. And I say, perhaps when we're having a clap for the NHS, would you be up for having a clap for the police? So there we are. You know, should we vary our claps for all the different people? Do tell me what you think. Excellent stuff. Now, I'm just going to share to another group. Keep sharing, guys. Very, very important. Get these numbers up. Let everybody know that we are live. So there we are. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And um, I'll share to another group. Keep the shares going, guys. Uh, Rab Hill says, St. Augustine on the BBC today, Scotty, was brilliant. An amazing chapel inside. It is absolutely huge. I was trying to place it. Is it along at the end of the town? So there we are. Colin Pinchbeck, can you give a shout out to all the council workers as well, Scotty, the bin men and the women and all the road workers who are delivering prescriptions and shopping for our elderly? Absolutely, Colin Pinchbeck. Who else should we have a shout out for? Let me know. Wonderful Ryan D. Scott's watching. Dinky do, Ryan. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. I say, right, I'm just going to share, guys. Um, I'm just getting this sorted out where I'm sharing live now. Yes. Wonderful. I wonder if it's possible to put the stuff out simultaneously on all the pages. That would be rather good, wouldn't it? Wonderful, wonderful. So we're going to a group. I'm just going to say live now. And uh, if you can all do the same, that would be great. Right, here we are. Wonderful. So we're going on that one. Excellent. And then well, I've got another one. So that's just going to go. And as I say, if you can all do the same. Really bad connection tonight, Scotty. I may need to reset the Wi-Fi. Aha. Right, Alistair. Is anybody else getting a bad connection? Guys, I've posted a YouTube, Soul of My Saviour from Truro Cathedral. Uh, thank you, shout out to the posties. Well done, Scotty. Not at all, Kevin Malcolm McGregor. A very, very noble cause. Her Majesty's Mail, the Royal Mail. Thanks, Scotty. This is Colin Pinchbeck. Not at all, Colin. Thank you. Very, very important. Right, here I go. Um, where have I just shared that, for goodness sake? I've got to remember who I've shared with, so I don't share twice, because that would be a nuisance, wouldn't it? We don't want that. Here we go again. I'm going to go for the groups now, guys. So there we are. And as I say, if you can all do the same. Now, is this a good time for a pop-up? Eight o'clock Sunday night. Let me know if it suits, because this is not my pop-up. This is yours. All right. Hello, Scotty. Terrific listening to you, says the wonderful John Taylor. John Taylor, thank you. And thank you for all your superb comments over on Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. There we are, youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue 1. Uh, get on to that one. Hugh Beatty's watching Dinky Doo Hugh. I keep getting connection error and it jumps back to the start. The start of my video. You don't want to be watching it again and again and again and again. I don't want people going, Ah, that's Scott Rackley faces all repeats. Do you think people are getting complacent lately? I deliver all over Scotland. And the Q's, uh, wrong spelling of Q's, John, your old grammarian friend, Scott McClure is telling you. Um, Q-U-E. So there we are. Around car parks are getting bigger. The staff say they're taking in the same money as Christmas. How very, very strange. They shouldn't be. There should just be a tiny, tiny handful of cars on the road going on essential business. I just nip round to our local shop and away again. And that is it. Otherwise, I am in the house. So there we are. So are people getting complacent? Are people thinking, getting a bit fed up with this lockdown? So there we go. Remember, it is for 
your health, right? And for the health of everyone else, Scotty, there's never a dull moment on the McClue Show. Alistair King, you say lovely things. Ryan D. Scott says, my dad, who has cancer, has been told to isolate for 13 weeks, but I'm on his disability insurance and doing his shopping. My cousin is a nurse at St. John's and has run off her feet. Very much indeed. What was that one? So there we go. Don't know what happened there. Yes. Let's save that. Um, why has that come up? Hmm. Right. There we are. Okay. Uh, so, excellent for 13 weeks. So, see more. Hang on. That's what did it. Um, the clap needs to go out to all frontline workers, I reckon. So there we are. Yes, good idea. That's what we need to do. Uh, here we go, guys. More sharing and sharing. Have you ever met a broadcaster that does his own sharing? Although I see them on the national news typing away and what have you at the computers. So maybe things have changed. We always had people to do that for us at the time, I remember. So there you are. Tremendous. Yes. And uh, live now, join us. I'll just put this up, guys. Live now. Uh-huh. Join us. <coughs> there we go. Live now. Join us. And that's going out to the big groups. So do the same, guys. It only takes you to share to the right people, to a great number of people, and bang, up go the figures. So very much relying on you. Uh, Rob Randall's watching. Of course, this is different from all other social media. A lot of social media people treat as, a, you know, they fight it. They say, how can we damage this? All that sort of stuff. This is your show. So there we go. 8 till 9 is okay because Dragon's Den's on when you're finished. Ah, Rob Hill. I thank you. Wedge Hashmi, how are you? Wedge. Very, very well. It's so boring, this lockdown, says Wedge. It is Wedge, but we have to go with us. But never be bored. I have never been bored in my life. So they are very interesting. Always things to do. Mark Finley's watching Dinky Doo. Mark, nice to have you with us. Top broadcaster. Uh, miss going out and about. I think we all do, Wedge. You're talking our language. You're speaking for everyone in every nation. Peter Conley's watching Dinky Doo. Junior's joining us, Scotty. Excellent, Alistair. Welcome, Junior. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo from Scotty McClue. Ian Dix watching. Hello, Ian. Keith Carlion. Tom Morgan. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Tom. Good to have you with us. Gordon Adley. A shout out for, uh, to my key worker, Jim. So there you are, Jim. Absolutely, Tom. Big shout out. John Jones says, paint garden furniture going out of stock. Oh, sorry, paint and garden furniture going out of stock, says a big retailer. Hashtag the essentials. Aha! There we are. Very, very strange. Guys, I'm going to keep sharing. I'm going to keep sharing. Uh, John Jones says... Ryan D. Scott, police are stopping people to make sure they're not going to the said beaches like total idiots have done. Nobody should even be out. Wonderful John John says you're back at 10 a.m. tomorrow. 10 or 11, John, which do you think's the best? I can't get my head around if there's an expert on Facebook listening. Do please tell me how sometimes we get a few hundred and another time a few thousand. There we are. Making fish and chips, says Wedge. Stop, you'll make my clue hungry. Uh, so there we are. Excuse me, ma'am. Absolutely, Tony New, you are excused. And we say to you, God bless you and bye. So there we are. That's uh, Tony gone. Uh, Scotty, have you noticed the price of fuel has dropped drastically at the pumps? Do you think this is a result of the lockdown with fewer weak vehicles on the road? Well, of course, Colin, because um, nobody's going anywhere, really. 
apart from the essentials. So if nobody buys the fuel, if nobody buys your product, you've got to discount it. If by discounting you don't sell any more, which they won't, then, uh, you know, your business starts to falter. But the oil companies have had high prices and also it's government duty. So the government charges a lot. They really do. Uh, we shout out to the recovery drivers and mechanics keeping the emergency services on the road. I was appalled when I think it was um, under the Gordon Brown budget, they started charging full price for boats for fuel, right? They could run on the old uh, commercial diesel. And, uh, you know, it was quite cheap. And, of course, a boat uses a lot of fuel, um, depending on its size, but they can use huge amounts. So it makes a big difference to ferry operators and things like that. Ryan Scott, we're getting three weeks uh, three weeks to the gallon now. <laughs> Very good, Ryan. Three weeks to the gallon. Barry Dinky Doo, Harry Knowles is watching down in Dumfries or Annan, Harry. Have I got that right? So Johnston Bridge. Lady Scott is watching Taggart the other day and thinking of you. Ah, Harry, yes, Taggart. We enjoyed Taggart. I love Taggart. Uh, 10 a.m., one hour off K. Adams is one hour of K. Adams. Plenty for John Jones. So 10 o'clock, John. So there it goes. Is it 10 o'clock for everybody? We tried 11 on Friday. So there we are. Didn't go down that well, but with a massive, massive one. One morning with five and a half thousand of you joined me. Now that's getting on for a respectable number. So there you are. So spread the word. Tell 10 to tell 10. More sharing. Very, very important. You can never have enough sharing, guys. And uh, I'll play you a wee tune later. If you're, if you're good, if you're good, you know. I'm not just going to, I'm not just going to play it, you know, if, if you're good. So there we are. So, um, you don't want too much of the phone in. There we are. Right, John. I shall keep an eye on that for you. Uh, just checking, just going to share to the group. I watched your audience show from maybe the nineties. It was brilliant, especially with the women drivers. Absolutely, Ryan. You know, because see, the women are wired slightly differently when it comes to spatial awareness. And the idiots that shout, so exhaust, nothing sexist about it. I am protecting lives. And people need to understand that. Seamus Patrick Gallagher. Uh, hello, Scotty. Thank you for keeping up our spirits. So there we are. Uh, and take care, Seamus Patrick. Lovely to hear from you. And Dinky do. Hello, Ollie. Lovely to have you on. But because you're silly, we say goodbye. There we are. There's Ollie blocked. Right, Alistair King, Dinky do. They certainly are, says Ryan. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. What was they certainly are, Ryan? You need to tell me. Uh, another time for the homemade lemon, guys. Mm. Oh. That is absolutely lush. You should try it. Very, very nice. Uh, sitting watching the Antiques Roadshow. Love the look in their faces when they get the price. It's only worth 30 quid. I know, but occasionally, you know, you get some old lady takes down a painting and the guy goes, now, this is by McWackle McWackle. And uh, he was very active in the 1830s or 1850s. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And um, tell me a little bit about this. How did you come back? Well, my granddad, uh, he, uh, he brought it home, you see. He was giving it after the First World War and uh, from his mess. And they say, yes, yes. Well, this is such and such a wonderful painting, and it's so-and-so. And I would say... You know, do you take great care of it? No, not really. It's, it's in cupboard under the stairs. Right. Well, um, I would get this insured for a minimum of £80,000. Oh. Seriously? Really? Wow. I never knew that. 
Oh. Now, I take it because, you know, it's a family heirloom. You won't want to sell it. Oh, no, no, man, no. You'll get that sold. Um, I was looking on the M8, thought it was a tractor, but it was a woman driver, says Ryan Scott. There we are, Andy McLuhan. No, it's knee. What's no, it's knee, Andy? What are you talking about? There we are. Um, oh, yes, oh, the prices, of the antiques roadshow. So you can get an absolute cracker. But, yes, their face does fall when they say, oh, it was my great granddad, and he was a friend of Queen Victoria. And that's all right, love here. Well, I mean, it's a nominal sum I would put in those 10 to 15 pounds, maybe. <laughs> um, what have we got there? Spooter Conley. I decorated my hall last week. My neighbor next door, who has an identical house, said he was going to do up his hall. How many rolls of wallpaper did you buy? Fourteen, I said. He shouted over the fence this morning and said he was finished and had three rolls left. Me also, I told him. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's great. Wonderful stuff. So there we go. And it clues dinky do. All right, Scotty, are you still on Nation Radio? No, I left Nation Radio about three months ago because they wanted to go down the love songs route. So um, good luck, I said, with that. Alan Brown's watching. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. That's the Alan Brown in Washington. Now, the Alan Brown, I think you should Skype me and tell me what's happening in Washington. Let me just check if I have my Skype on. I may have to sign in. It likes you to keep signing in. So there we go. Excellent stuff. Scotty Dot McClure. Yes. So remember that Scotty Dot McClure is my Skype handle if you're going to skype i'm just going to set it up in case the wonderful alan brown might be in a position to skype me one never knows there we go let's hope this works guys it's fantastic um Right, I'll see if this is what. Um, it always takes a wee while, doesn't it? Especially when you're live. So there we are. Aldini, the DJ, is watching. Aldini, welcome, welcome, welcome. Craig Sanderson, lovely to have you with us. But because we're saying you're being silly, it's uh, block time. So we're going to have to say goodbye to the wonderful Craig Tarana, there we are, off he jolly well goes. You get this sometimes on a live stream, yes, there we are. The Skype is live, Alan Brown, Scotty Dot McClure. You want to come and join us. Yes, you get this, if you're live streaming, you get the half-witted idiot that thinks, let's go on and see if we can spoil this. And uh, they tell all their friends, on they come, and um, off they go. Lifetime ban. So if you want a lifetime ban, come on and be silly. Um, you should get the phone in back on here, Scotty. Rap, what have I just said? So there we are. I'm wondering if there's a slight delay. So if I say, can you hear me? Can you all type yes, if you can, and send it up, all right? So I'm going to ask the question, can you hear me? And I'll count till I get the first yes. Hey! Alan Brown from Washington. Mr. Mc... How are Mc... we? Mc... Are you... Uh, I'm... Well, I'm very well. Yeah, but, but, um, go I'm, on. I'm, I'm stressed with being indoors. Yes. And one of the ways I'm enjoying... I'm enjoying passing my time is listening to yourself. Oh, Alan Brown, you are a very, very kind man. You always have been. Because it's easy to be 
kind to you, Scotty. Oh. You're a good... You're a top man. It's wonderful. What's happening in Washington, D.C., Alan? Give us a bit of uh, background to what's going on. Well, we are completely locked down You're at lockdown. the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, we're getting daily information from uh, the White House. Yes. And now, am I right in thinking the White House is pretty close to you? It's about 15, maybe 16 miles from where That's I'm standing right now. Where you're standing right now, White House, 15 miles, yep. Yep, it's just 15 miles away from where I'm standing. Wow. And uh, everything's but, in lockdown. So in Washington itself, nothing moving, deserted streets? Yes, it's very similar to the... Um, they they have they're stopping people and asking them why they're going places. Right. So. Um, they're making us they're making us wear masks whenever right. we go to the super. Right. When you say they, you're talking about the cops, yes. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yes. So you'll get stopped. Excuse me, sir. Where are you headed? Exactly. Yeah, and you say I'm just going to the store. Yeah. 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 I go, that's okay. So it works a wee bit like that. So yeah, uh, exactly. are things okay in Scotland? Yes, I mean, they Scotland? are because, you see, we have our own government in Scotland. We have our own devolved health service. So you maybe heard Brilliant. that we did lose our chief medical officer uh, last week. Um, that was that. But uh, I believe we have another one, a replacement. And um, things are going, there's, there's call for equipment and simple equipment, personal protection. This is the big thing at the moment. Um, you know, scrubs, aprons, overalls, masks, proper masks, all that stuff. Because this is one dangerous, dangerous virus, Alan. You know it, Scotty. And what I've been hearing as well is that it's not a bacteria. It's not a living bacteria. It's actually a virus that can live on its own on surfaces long after you touch them. Right. And way to, 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 the best way to look after yourself, they're telling us over here, is that um, you need to keep washing your hands and stop touching your face. Right, so stop touching your face washing your hands. I've never been a great man for touching my face. <laughs> Partly because I can't reach. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, I, I I think that's absolutely fine. I, I mean, I think I've got to just leave my face alone, you know, because touching it is certainly not going yeah. to improve it. Exactly. Yes. It's it's it, it, when I remember when I shaved my head one time, Scotty. Uh -huh. I felt my head like one of those big balloons that you see, uh, you know, at the parade. You know, yes. the, the ten foot tall. <laughs> wonderful. Well, I think we might all be giving ourselves a wee number one haircut before this is finished. You know, and we we'll all remember what colour of hair we have now. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to talk to you, Alan, and thank you so much for coming and joining us. Thank you, Colin. I mean, Scotty, love to, you, love to you, love to you and to your lovely family. And um, stay safe yeah. and keep well. When I'm back in Scotland, you'll be the first person I call, my friend. Ah, oh, wonderful. And um, get somebody to get you that uh, Facebook video because uh, that's a beauty. The one you sent me, uh, I think 27,000 people enjoyed it. Okay, I'll try and get it to you, Scotty. You know yeah. how bad I am with technology. You're not bad at all. At the top of the page, you'll see videos. <laughs> <laughs> you used to you used to have to point me to a computer in the library. Yeah, but those were the days together. when computers were virtually new, and the ones that we had, if you think back, there was no internet. They were effectively word processors. 
through you know from that very point true. of view so we've uh, we've moved on but somebody will get you that one very easily alan up to the top of the page where it says more click on that click on videos and it will come up and then you click on the video and it'll say what do you want to download and all that sort of stuff brilliant fun all right Thank you, my friend. I'm not going to take up any more of your time. Listen, I know that you are busy. So. We, we send love to you from Scotland. And as I say, to all your lovely people. And dinky-doo. Well, from Washington, D.C., we're going to say goodnight to the fantastic Scotty McClue in Scotland. Dinky-doo, Alan Brown. I thank you. How fantastic. So there we are, the wonderful Alan Brown. And uh, 15 miles from the White House. He's talking from. How good was that? Yes, John Jones, the wonderful Ina Matters watching Dinky Doosa. I hope you are well. And I thank you. Rap Hill, Dinky Doo, Aldini the DJ says yes. Scotty, my neighbor came knocking on my door at 3 a.m. this morning. I would have fell out with him or fallen out with him, but luckily I was still up practicing the bagpipes. We love it. As they used to say, if you wake up in the middle of the night and you don't know what time it is, if you can get a hold of a bugle or a trumpet, give it a good blow and some do shout out, Oi! It's three o'clock in the morning! You know, I always tell you the time. Kenny Hyde says, Happy Easter from the Hyde clan in Gurk. We send love and blessings to all of the Hyde clan, Kenny, and thank you so much. And uh, great, thanks for asking about the car the other day. I hope you liked that. Uh, Mark Montgomery, dinky do, lovely to have you with us. What Kenny Hyde doesn't know about cars isn't really worth knowing. David Cordingly, dinky do, meant to say Scotty, A and J going on at 10 tomorrow to listen to some real chat. That'd be wonderful, Kenny. I'd look forward to that. They are beautiful people. So there we go. Uh, Gordon Robertson, hello. Hello, Gordon. Welcome, 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 I say. And uh, how do you do, says Louis Andrew. Scotty McClue, how do you do? Dinky do to you, Louis Andrew. I do very well, and I hope you do too. Dinky do. See if you can not touch your face, how you can scratch your nose when it's itchy. Ah, rab. I don't know, is there such a thing as a... A nose scratcher. I know you used to be able to get a back scratcher. So there you go. Very interesting. Things that you don't see nowadays. When I was wee, you got these big bath sponges. And they were like a real sponge from the bottom of the ocean. It had been a living creature. And you got pumice stone that you scrubbed any rough skin you had. It was always older people that had rough skin and had corns and had bunions. So there you are. What else do we remember that you don't seem to see now? Boils on the back of your neck from too much fried food. You know, we never had that because my father had a fine, big, productive garden and there was always fresh vegetables and fresh fruit available. He had plums. He had rhubarb, he had black currants, red currants, onions, he had uh, in his greenhouse tomatoes and cucumbers. Oh, the smells gorgeous. And you just went out there, got the tomatoes and had a fresh tomato sandwich. I've just bought a wax kit to get the hair waxed out of my nose, delivered yesterday. Gordon Robertson, can I tip you the wink here? Can I give you the nod? Can I give you a word to the wise? I wouldn't wax your nose. So there you are. Uh, so there we go. Jonathan Gold is watching. One of the finest DJs in the country. Well, in all countries. Fabulous. Lovely to have you with us, Jonathan. And Dinky Do. Are you still over in Cork in Ireland? Um, I have a Royal Artillery Bugle Scotty. It's about 45 years old. Says Alistair King. Very nice. The Royal Artillery. I was once traveling down south to... I'm not sure I was going to border television or whatever. 
and maybe going down to Manchester. And uh, what was it we were talking about? Hang on a minute, there's Brandon. Brandon, lovely to have you with us, Brandon Curry. I'm just going to block you for being silly. So, ta -ra la there we are, there's Brandon gone. <coughs> A lifetime ban. And um, I'm driving down the road and there was a programme on in the BBC and there was a very, very polite lady saying, oh no, we had such problems with that. Very polite lady and I thought, who is this? It was a very early recording of Florence Nightingale talking about her work in the Crimea. Now, that was in the mid-1850s, 1856, the battles of, um, she was in Sebastopol, I think. And you had Alma, Balaclava, Inkerman, and Sebastopol. And if you go to places like Manchester and Preston, you still see Inkerman Street and uh, Sebastopol Street and stuff like that. Alma Place, all that sort of stuff from the Crimea. Fantastic. Hi, Victorious. And then I heard a gentleman go, I'll play it as I did on the day. And he gets the old bugle and gives it. And uh, gives us this fantastic bugle call. And he was the bugler at the charge of the light brigade. He sounded the charge. And you had this very, very early recording. So that was Florence Nightingale and the bugler at the charge of the Light Brigade, which was the Crimea again, wasn't it? Charging the Russian cannon, as Tennyson said, cannon to right of them, cannon to left of them. Into the Valley of Death rode the 600, the charge of the Light Brigade. God Robinson used to tell folk to keep in touch with themselves. Yes, quite right. But don't be doing that at the moment. We didn't have the coronavirus then. You can't whack a rhubarb crumble says Rab Hill, absolutely. So there we go. Do you not remember the guy was clearing up some horse check and a chap from uh, a place for those who are um, terminally confused was looking over the wall and he said, what are you doing, mister? He said, I'm picking up some horse check. He said, what are you doing that for? He says, because I'm going to take it home. It's good for my rhubarb. He said, you should come in here. We have custard we hours. Uh, I'm very tired tonight, Scotty McClure. I'm going to bed. Stay safe and have a lovely night, mate. Randy Scott, I thank you. God bless you. Night, night. So there we are. And uh, evening, Scotty, says Tony Mac. Good evening, Tony. Lovely to have you with us. The wonderful Christopher Mosley, the original proper gentleman, is watching. Dinky do to you, Christopher Mosley. Jake Hood, evening, me old pal, evening, Jake. Can you say, get out of my swamp? I sure can, Jake. Uh, good to see Boris Johnson well and grateful to the wonderful NHS for saving his life. The NHS is amazing. Billy Hunter's watching, Peter Conley. Reading about the uprising in domestic abuse, Scotty. I don't buy it that the lockdown is to blame. No person has any right to lift their hands under any circumstances. However, as far as I'm concerned, they would do it regardless. So there we are. Very, very interesting domestic abuse. You don't blame it in the lockdown. You think, is it the fact they're spending more time together? Is that not the lockdown, Peter Connolly? So there, are. you're quite right, though. Homeschool starts back tomorrow, so I may get Junior up at 6 a.m. with Ravalli. He thinks he doesn't need to do his work. Oh, no. We all need to do our work, Alistair. You're doing a wonderful job. Uh, Ryan D. Scott, to these idiots annoying and being stupid, respect your elders. Absolutely, Ryan. Jake Hood, my man. Lovely to hear from you, Jake. And Dinky Dude, you know what I've just realized? We are plumb out of time. Guys, it's been a blast. I love you all. Take great, great care of yourselves. Stay in, stay safe, and God bless you. Happy Easter to every single one of you. To those who are suffering, we send strength and we send love 
for today and for the days to come. Until we pop up again, that's uh, tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock sharp, right here on Facebook Live. This is Scotty McClue saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. Ta-da, lads! Scotty McClue has left the building, but he hasn't. He's staying at home and he's staying safe. <laughs>